Hey guys, what is up? Rubik's Life here. Welcome back to the first video of 2020, and today we're going to be doing five walkthrough solves on the 3x3. Three three. I'm going to be going step by step with the exact scramble, and we're going to be uh, going through, and I'm going to be uh, just showing you guys what I think when I solve. <laughs> this video is going to be in 4k so from here on out all of my videos are going to be shooting in 4k which is awesome so if you guys have a tv or monitor that can do 4k you guys can go ahead and switch that over and you can watch this in 4k if not it'll just be really good 1080p so uh this year i really wanted to boost my quality of the videos and make it as good as possible so i've got a nice ring light surrounding the, the camera lens here and i have it shooting in 4k so hopefully this will be great and you guys can see it very clearly um so let's just jump in right into the video and uh hope you guys enjoy Alrighty, guys so the first scramble i'm gonna put it up on the screen here and it is f b2 r2 b r2 u prime b prime l2 b2 d prime r2 u prime f u r2 b l prime d r prime b and uh, I will wait for a second. You guys can pause it and finish that. But this is what it looks like with green in front, white on top. I've got this and this. So that's what I've got. All right, so the first thing I always do, flip it upside down so yellow is on top. That just makes the cross much faster. Uh, first thing I see is my green, my orange. It's very simple to put in. So probably, and I've got red back here and blue. So first thing I do is always identify the four uh, cross pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I would put green down into place and bump it over, which would let orange perfectly go into place here. And in doing so, that would put blue up. So I'd uh, move it over, put blue down and replace, which leaves me with red. So I do the same thing, move it over, down, replace and that'll give me with my cross. So nice and simple. Uh, next, I've got blue and orange. These are the first two, so I would move it over like this, put it into the back spot, and insert it there. And then immediately I see these two. So I'd move it over, I'd uh, move it back like that, and then I would just insert the pair. All right, next I see blue and red. I'd uh, move the white down, line up the pieces, and then I would probably insert it like that with a cube rotation. Uh, the final one would be easy. It's just, uh, just R U R prime U or whatever that is. R U, yeah, R U R prime U, and that'll just put it in there. Um, and then I got two look O L L here soon, and then. Okay, so then what I do, I have two look PLL. I have a lot of my PLL, but this one I just don't know. So I'm gonna, I solve the corners first. Um, sometimes if I can't get it, I'll solve the corners and then I'll just do the middle pieces. Uh, like I'll do, I'll do these algorithms because I can get all the corners done and then I can just do that and I can still get sub 20 solves. So that definitely works. Alrighty guys, so then the second scramble, I'll put it up right here. I'm not going to read it out this time, you guys can just pause it, uh, and then you just see what I get. So uh, it goes up right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so this is what I got, with green in front, white on top, that, and that. Okay, so again, first thing I do is I flip it, I notice the red right away. The green, uh, those are in opposite sides, so that's not too helpful. I see orange is on its opposite, and I'd see blue's already in place, so that's helpful. So what I'd probably do is I'd go ahead, um, I'd probably solve blue, solve red, which b bumps up green, and then just go ahead and solve green, and that would put orange here. I'd double flick the bottom, put orange down, and that solves the cross. Um, I immediately see this pair. This is an easy break apart put together. I see these, which is another easy you break them apart, put it together. That's the whole left side done. I see the orange and blue, but the orange and blue is going to be back here, I think. Yeah, that one's already in place. Uh, I see these two would be easier because you can just do that and that'll bump up uh, that piece and put this in the front, which allows me to uh, just do one quick cube rotation 
bring it out over and down. And then I've got OLL piece, just like that. And then I see I can do this case, um, which I don't know yet. So I guess I'm gonna do T-firm here and then get my corners, which works really well. I'm, I still wanna um, get better at that, but there we go. Now just a second solve, nice and simple. <clears throat> All right, next scramble, putting up right here. I had like a stroke when I was reading that, sorry, it took me a second. <laughs> All right, green in front, white on top, I've got this, to that, to that. All right, uh, first thing I notice right away is the green and blue are next to each other, red's in place, and then I've got, um, got orange over here in place already. So the first thing I think I do is I, instead of flipping it, I would put green in place, which would allow me to do red, green, put orange in place, and then I'd flip the cube, put blue right in the front, and that's the cross done. Uh, I immediately saw these two pieces, um, which I don't know would be the best option, but that's the first thing I saw. Uh, I immediately see these two, which isn't easy. You can break those apart and insert it into the back corner here. Um, I see these two, which I can do an easy one cube rotation here uh, because I have these two. And then with this case here, I, there's the piece here, which I'm gonna line up with the orange. So then as soon as I bring up the corner, it uh, matches them up and then you can just cube rotate and insert there. Um, and then you've got your OLL case there, which I knew that one. And then you just do that. And then that was a T-firm. So that was really easy uh, last layer. So that probably would have been a really good solve if we timed that one. So that'd be good. That was a good and easy one. All right, here is the fourth solve. All right, green in front, white on top. I've got this, that, and that. All right, <clears throat> first thing I notice right here is orange and white, and I've got the green on opposite, We've got red, um, which I can easily pair here, and then we've got blue. Um, okay, so I think what I would do, I would probably lift red to its place so it's in line over here. Uh, I would move blue while rotating the cube, so then I can easily go like this, and then I'd bring up green, flip down blue, and then I'd... Uh, Mm, I, I don't know, this is, this is kind of a tricky one. I'd probably do that and that, which isn't the most efficient, but that got it done. Um, I see these two. I also see these two though, um, and these. So I've got three on top that I can choose from, uh, but I would probably pick the one that's the most easiest to access. So like this one, I would probably do these two first. Uh, so I would do this, pair that up. And there's that, which allows these two to be up front for the next solve. Uh, totally. Oh yeah, I did that right. Okay. And then you can just pair that in the back. Uh, break these apart. Insert that backwards, um, which is a little bit awkward, but it's not too bad. And then I would just line these up like that. OLL. Um, and then I've got... So that's an easy PLL case where you go like this. Just in case you didn't know that one, that was a fun one. Uh, the other case like that is this, where the colors are opposite and you just do this. Um, those are two very fun ones. You can get those going really, really fast and annoy your friends by just doing that algorithm over and over super fast. So um, don't recommend doing that, but it's a really fun case. All right, that was really simple. That was a pretty good one. Uh, if you guys see anything I could have done differently, let me know, because I'm always trying to improve my times and I'm trying to get to sub 15. I'm getting really close, uh, but just let me know.
and uh, I'd love to hear your guys' feedback because uh, I'm giving you mine and this is just my opinion and what I'm seeing right away. Uh, so I want to hear what you guys think and what you guys see. Uh, I could also do walkthrough solves on the on the 2x2 two two, or I could also go on the 4x4. Four four, so uh, that could be really, really fun. I also got this cube for Christmas. Now it looks normal, but when you turn it, it's got textures on it. And what this does is, uh, one, it's very fun and soothing to solve, it's very sensory uh, heavy. But what you can do is you can close your eyes and then you can scramble it up and then you can feel what pieces they are and you can solve it without looking because you're using um, all your memory and then muscle memory with the algorithms and then you can just feel the pieces and try to figure out where they go. So this one's really fun. I really wanna do a video on that. I just don't exactly know how I'm gonna do format that because you can't see my eyes. Uh, which I could just do this and tell you I'm doing it blindfolded, but it's really hard to, you know, explain that. So, uh, we're gonna, I'm trying to figure out how to do that one. And I can also do walkthrough solves on different cubes. Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. So, uh, on to scramble number five. All right, scramble number five. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Green in front, white on top, I've got this, that, and that. Right away, I see I've got opposites here. So, uh, probably, I also have blue though. I was gonna say I could do this, but I probably what I would do, um, actually what I would do is I'd lift blue up and line up green. So then I can just flip and put down blue, and that's three of my colors. And then, oh, I didn't inspect orange, but then just insert orange there. Um, I see these two, but that requires a key rotation. Um, I see these two, so I guess my best bet, um, my best bet would be these two. So I would do this and insert that. Uh, and that would cycle these this one forwards here and that because I have these two in the back these two I would probably lift this up go ahead and get that rotation out of the way um, and then I have these two which I would cycle and do that and then my last one just in, easy insert in the back and then I'm gonna do my two look and then I've got uh, PLL, which again, oh, here's the algorithm I was talking about. Um, cool. That was simple. That was fun. I liked that. All right. So if you guys want to see any other videos, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback and let me know how your New Year's went. Uh, why not start a conversation? Have conversations with people. I'd love to see that. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys this helped, uh, if you like this video give it a like, uh, leave some comments, just let me know what you guys want to see for the new year. I have a couple of plans and ideas already coming up, I'm super excited for it. We're almost to 11k which is incredible, so thank you guys for all this awesome support we have uh, coming in this new year. So uh, looking forward to 2020 and I will see you all in the next one, peace.